Hello, my name is Eric Nelson. I'm a developer evangelist in Microsoft UK. And since January of 2010, I've been focusing on the Windows Azure platform. Big thanks to the organizers of your user group for giving me a few minutes of your time to uh, tell you about Windows Azure platform and what we've been up to in the UK. That's me sitting at my desk, just so you know who's uh, talking to you right now. And I know I've met a fair few of you over the last uh, year and a half. I want to cover four things, what it actually is, what we're doing in the UK, how you can start to use it, and that will include some of the promotional offers that are around at the moment, and also feedback. Really keen to get feedback on what you think about Windows Azure Platform. Okay, what exactly is it? Well, it's been around for quite some time now, but it only went live on January the 4th. So we moved from CTP, effectively beta, into a live service on January the 4th. It is our cloud computing infrastructure. It allows Microsoft data centers to host your code and your data, whether that's unstructured or relational, and also allows messages to fly around um, both from Microsoft cloud infrastructure to internet based websites, and also from our cloud infrastructure down to on premise applications. And that technology is delivered by three teams, a team focused on Windows Azure, a team focused on the SQL Azure database and a team focused on App Fabric. So every application is a combination of code, data, you know, semi-structured, unstructured data such as files and images, and relational data. And with a cloud computing platform like Windows Azure platform, we can take those three pieces and we can host them out there on a data center that isn't yours. Okay, the development experience. We have software development kits. The software development kits allow you to do a lot of what's um, involved in terms of building for the Windows Zero platform entirely on your local machine using something called a development fabric, which emulates our operating environment. But at some point you need to deploy it, and that's when you use the portal. Uh, Windows.azure.com is a good place to start. And that allows you to take a packaged version of your code and get that installed into a Microsoft data center. And finally, you end up with your code, your data, and your relational data actually running in a Microsoft data center on the Windows Azure platform. What we've been doing in the UK, well, the quick answer is a lot. We've had a big focus in the UK. The team keeps growing. Um, I joined in January. 2009 was about working with early adopters. And in 2010, it's awareness for everyone. It's really making sure everyone understands when they should and should not be using the Windows Azure platform. So one of the things that we're doing is we've kicked off a new online community, ukazure.ning.com. If you're um, already experienced in the Windows Azure platform, please register. If you just want to you know, kick tires and see what's there, register as well. But you're probably thinking, well, how do I get started? Well, we've put everything in one place. We've created a UK web page for Windows Azure platform, and it's at bit.ly slash land Azure. You can go there, you can find details about downloading that software development kit to have the development fabric. There's information about books, there's information about the best sessions from the Microsoft Professional Developers Conference, which took place at the end of 2009. Everyone can get access to the introductory free offer, which gives you 25 hours a month, 0.5 gigabytes of storage and 0.5 gigabytes of bandwidth. That's a great place to start. If you're an MSDN subscriber, though, there is a really good offer at the moment, which is you, as part of your MSDN subscription, you get 750 compute hours, which is enough to run a single node, a single instance of your code for your project, 24 hours a day, every day of the month. That's the UK pricing. I'm not going to go through that. The prices are quite low until you start scaling up number of instances. And of course, you have a really successful site. Feedback. I'm after feedback. Teams after feedback. If you want to send feedback to me, that's great, eric.nelson at microsoft.com. But there's also the team have put together using user voice, migratewindowsazureidea.com. Every one of us has got 10 votes. You can vote on other people's ideas and feedback, or you can create your own. Thanks very much for that, folks. Bitly slash landazure is the place to start. Bitly slash iUpdatable is my blog. Hope you enjoy it. Download the SDK, have some fun, and deploy it, taking advantage of one of those offers. Thanks for listening. Enjoy the rest of your evening.